right guys welcome back to smoke one if you have one today we'll be reviewing timeless limited edition 10 years exclusive for Ferro Tiago good looking cigar good looking wrapper here's the foot here's the band good looking band good looking cigar so the wrapper is Dominican the binder is Dominican the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan and it's an extra Toro so 5.75 something like that but nothing on the wrapper nuttiness and like sweet sweetness of a fruit yep all right let's cut it and light it cold draw nothing much a little mm, it's salty a little bit of that fruitiness to it oh it's salty i i think i'm gonna like that It's very nutty. A little sweet fruit to it. A tiny bit of mustiness. Salty and sweet in the palate. Very, very smooth on the retro hill. It's so smooth I don't know I didn't know I was retro hilling. A little wood that's about it all right i'll see you guys at the end of the first third all right guys welcome back we're at the end of the first third so the cigar start out very nutty until it gets to like a quarter inch in and they start having a uh musty cedar on the retro hell a little sweetness on the palate with nuts wood and cedar on the palate when i say mustiness i mean like a funky um funky sour mushroom kind of thing but yeah it started out very woody very nutty and that was it now it added the sweetness and the mustiness on the retro hell and the palate that's it it doesn't change much and this, to be honest this burn is it been wonky they have not want to stay straight or anything but yeah here's the band good looking band let's take off the second band while we're at it oh it took some wrapper all right cool that's fine and here's the second band i don't know why they put three band but yeah limited uh 10 years and it took Wrap. All right, cool. But yeah, it have way more of that mustiness, which I love in a cigar. It should have that. It's like it tells you that the cigar have been aged, or the tobacco has been aged, which is very nice. Very nice on palate. I love that taste. I love the mustiness. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys at the end of the second third right at the band. Oh! Timeless. Pretty nice. Alright, time for cleanup. Alright guys, welcome back. 
we're at the end of the second third so nothing really changed except for it added uh a sweet spice to it like a sweet baking spice Here's the band. Good looking band. Limited edition. Timeless. But yeah, nothing changed. Still have that sweet, musty, mushroom funkiness to it. With cedar wood. Actually. with a nice sweet fruit yep on the pellet that mustiness is hitting way harder very good smoke output very good cigar so far all right i see you guys at the end of the final third all right guys welcome back we're at the end of the cigar so the mustiness is so up front that is diluting all the other notes it's so musty and funky, it's, it's souring the mouth. Which, I like though. I like that note a lot. So, I, I'm not complaining. I like it a lot. But, um, yeah, it's... Nothing really changed except for the red pepper spice. I've kicked up a little bit in the retro hell. Sweet, nuttiness, uh, wood, earth, leather. Yep. But yeah, it the mustard is start sweet and then it's after it sit on your palate after the finish, at the finish it's turned sour. Which I don't mind. I like that note a lot. Overall, I rate this cigar uh one to ten seven point eight. I enjoyed it a lot. The only complaint is that that in the beginning the burn it just there's one side that wouldn't burn for nothing. I had to keep touching it up but overall it's a, it's a good experience really good cigar i definitely pick it up again and that will be it for me thank you for watching please subscribe like and comment and i see you next time yeah still a good cigar even at this point